Hey, Miss Gregory, we're doing equivalent ratios. You can see the maths RP 1.3B, workbook lesson 1.6, page 59 through 66. And do you have your supplies? Get them. You need your workbook, you need headphones, pencil, pen, highlighter. Time for notes. If you have them, let's go. First page and your first assignment is to read the example and answer questions one through five. You would need to pause here, then come back to check your answer. Pause. Okay, come back and check your answer for question number one. <clears throat> 10 prints for every $2 and 30 prints for $6. All right, check question two. Numerator and denominator are multiplied by three. Question three, 10 prints per $2. You're trying to change it to a unit rate. So that's five prints per $1. For number four, 30 prints per $6. Unit rate is five prints per dollar. And the last question, number five, are they equivalent? Your answer is yes, and your explanation is basically in these words, the same unit rate is given, $5 prints. Five prints for $5, okay? All right, thank you. All right, now we're talking about using unit rates in order to compare ratios or rates to see if they are equivalent. One way that you can do this is comparing them in simplest form, um, like comparing unit rates. Here's an example from what we just did with the number of prints and the number of dollars per print. Okay, We were able to prove that they had the same unit rate, so they are equivalent ratios. Make sure you're underlining everything that you see and highlighting everything that I've highlighted as well. All right, under example one, you have to determine if each pair of rates is equivalent and you must explain your reasoning, okay? So in problem number one, 20 miles in five hours and 45 miles in nine hours. If you change each rate to a fraction and then simplify it to its unit rate as the second step, you have 20 miles per 5 hours. If you divide by 5, the unit rate is 4 miles per hour. 45 miles in 9 hours, if you change it to its unit rate and divide by 9, you have 5 miles per hour. So since the rates don't have the same unit rate, they are not equivalent. Okay, and notice what they're saying out to the left, the little post-it about unit rates. That's important to take note of. And let's look at example two with the t-shirts. You have three t-shirts for $21, five t-shirts for $35. You're trying to see if these are equivalent rates. So let's try taking them down to the unit rate. 21 divided by three would lead you, leave you with $7 per t-shirt. 35 all right, if you'll check problem A, 36 t-shirts per three boxes, simplifying it down to 12 t-shirts per box. The other ratio is 60 t-shirts per six boxes, which is simplified to 10 t-shirts per box. So in this case, they are not equal ratios, so we would have to say no. They are not equal because the unit rates are not equivalent. And then you need to make sure you pause and check letter B as well. 
All right, you can see here with question B, simplifying 42 flowers and seven vases, that that comes to a unit rate of six flowers per vase. 54 flowers per nine vases also simplifies down to six flowers per vase. So yes, they are equivalent ratios because the unit rates are equivalent. Okay, so you've checked your work. Let's move to the next question. All right, the next slide, we're talking about example three. Felisa read the first 60 pages of a book in three days. She read the last 90 pages in six days. Are these reading rates equivalent? And then you have to explain your reasoning. Okay, again, look off to the side. The taped portion about proportion is important for you to note. If you look at the example, 60 pages over three days simplifies to 20 pages in one day. And 90 pages in six days simplifies to 15 pages per day. In this case, they do not have the same unit rate, so they are not equivalent. So her reading rates are not equivalent. So now it's your turn to stop and try to answer C and D. Come back with an answer and check your work. Thanks. All right, check your answer for the got it letter C. Bracelets, 10 bracelets for five friends for Marsha is two bracelets per friend. For Jen, 12 bracelets per four friends reduces to three bracelets per friend. So these are not equivalent ratios because they are not the same unit rates. All right, work D, come back and check. All right, here you can check your answers for Got It B. Club A, $168 was raised for washing 42 cars, which simplifies to $4 per car. Club B raised $152 for washing 38 cars, which simplifies to $4 per car. So these are equal because they are the same unit rate. Okay, if you've copied everything down, then you're ready to move to the next page. If not, pause and finish. Okay, we're talking about using equivalent fractions as another method to determine if you have equivalent ratios. If a unit rate is not easily found, then you can decide if the ratios or rates are equivalent by thinking about them like fractions. <clears throat> Determine if the free throw ratios are equal or not and explain your reasoning. So three free throws made out of seven attempts and nine free throws made out of 14 attempts. So set up the fraction three to seven. Is that equal to nine to 14? So if you were to move from the left side to the right side, looking at the top numbers, which is the numerator, we're talking about, let me point to it, we're talking about right here, if we are comparing these numbers, to move from 3 to 9, I would need to multiply by 3. Now let's compare the numbers across the bottom your denominators and see what you have to do. So to move from the left to the right on the bottom, you would have to multiply by two. But we know that you should do the same thing to the bottom and the top numerator and denominator. So since they're not multiplied by the same number, the fractions are not equivalent, okay? And since they are not equivalent, the ratios are not equivalent. So which way is simpler for the numbers that you're working with is the way to go. It doesn't matter which one. You need to know how to use both and then you can choose which works best in the situation. Okay, once you've copied this, move on. 
Last is our example five, and then you're going to try got it on your own. So example five, Selena is comparing the cost of two packages of DVDs. One package of six costs $90, and a package of three costs $45. So she wants to know, is there a better deal, or are they the same? And you need to be able to explain your reasoning. So you can see the ratio set up. If you simplify them, you would be able to divide by two on the top and the bottom. So they are equivalent fractions. And since the fractions are equivalent, then they are equivalent ratios. Okay, now you should stop here and do the got it E, come back and check your work. Thanks. All right, come back and check the got it. You can see 12 girls to 16 students versus four girls to eight students. These are not the same ratio. Moving along the top, you would have to divide by three, but moving along the bottom, you would have to divide by two. So these are non-equivalent fractions, so therefore they are not equivalent ratios. Once you've copied this, move on to the next page. And this is where you are going to do the guided practice in your workbook on page 62. You're going to stop. You're going to do these problems.